Using ChatGPT, I was able to make a script that scraped YouTube's autocomplete, and I was able to do this in under an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in, Loru here, and I'm a digital advertiser by day, and at night, my gaming channel, I make EVE Online videos. Now, a pretty common practice when you're doing keyword research is to come to the YouTube search bar and type in your search term, and then go A, backspace, B, backspace, C, and you can see all the different things. This is called alphabet soup. It's pretty rudimentary, but I wanted an automated way to do this. Now I use ChatGPT to do just that. It scrapes A to Z, all the terms automatically in a Google Sheet. If that's all you want, if you just want the formula, that'll be in the description. You can use it yourself in your own Google Sheet script environment. All I ask is that you leave a like. Thanks very much. If you want some deeper knowledge here, how I came about this formula and really my methodology and how I use ChatGPT, I think that is the actual bar of gold here, not the formula itself. If I seem kind of hyper right now, it's because this kind of blew my mind how I came about all of this in under an hour. So I was thinking to myself, how can I do this automatically? And through some Googling, I was able to find this formula. This will be in the description too. And this formula simply, if you type it in and you press enter into Chrome, Firefox, whatever, it'll output a text doc. And the text doc gives you all of the query data, okay? Gives you uh, EVE Online Abyss of Dead Space, EVE Online Ad. It gives you all the data you just saw into a text doc. So I started thinking to myself, hey, I want to be able to take 26 text documents, one for each letter of the alphabet, and import them into Excel. So I was doing this by hand. I found a Chrome extension that you can actually run multiple URLs. So I can get like B, C, D, and I can input it into Chrome extension, use multiple URLs. I'm not featuring that for a reason, you'll see. Once I had 26 text docs, I went to ChatGPT and I said, hey, I need to take 26 text document files, import them into Excel, how can I do that? Now, before I go any further, all of this ends with me in a Google Sheets query script that does everything I wanted to do and then some. It files the stuff for me and I used ChatGPT. Why I'm making this video and why it's a little bit more disjointed than some of my other videos is because this was so mind blowing to me how it felt like I had a helper, a computerized thing holding my hand, not quite human. I could tell some of the answers were a little off, how it was doing some delivery was like a little bit, you could feel that it was robotic, but I could feel a helper there with me, alongside me, sitting, making sure that I was getting where I needed to go. So I started with this idea and I ended with something that doesn't just work, that works well and that I can apply to other things and even make other YouTube videos about sheesh. So let's keep diving in. And I'm gonna give you my full kind of methodology with how I got to this because how you use these text prompts are really the whole kit and caboodle, okay? So I started with, hey, I got these 25 text documents. How can I get through this? And it gave me a bunch of answers. It said, hey, you can do it one by one. You can use an import text file wizard. You can use VBA macros. And I said, hey, I don't want to use VBA macros. Thank you very much. So all of this then, again, giving me very actionable data, actionable guides. I said, you know what? Through talking to ChatGPT, I'm not going to use Excel. I want to use Google Sheets, Google Sheets macros. I've used those for my day job in the past. I had to pull some data from there, put it over here, transpose it, manipulate it, do whatever you got to do. I want to be able to take the text files that are in Google Drive and automatically put them into a single Google Sheet. So it writes me code. Spoiler, the code works. So it uh, successfully scraped the text docs, but then returned blank data. It pointed to the right sheet. It gave me a base to work with. And even though it didn't work, it wrote me code that 80% of it got there. So I was able to take this and then build upon it to get to my uh, winning formula. So this is my first point here. Even though this code didn't exactly work, I was able to type in a sentence and it gave me something with how to's that mostly worked. This is my first point. That's nuts. In my career, this has never happened. I have to work with like literal live tech support person and basically pay them to be able to get this kind of thing. And it just gives it to me. This prompt could be better. This prompt isn't that great. I know many of the people that are going to watch this go that that prompt suck. You can make a better prompt. Okay. So, so I try to modify the, the parse. I try to get this to work. I really try to, I type it, Hey, I'm getting this error. It's, it's giving me some debugs and it's around this point that I'm like, okay, this isn't really working. And a light bulb hits me. Why the hell am I trying to get ChatGPT 
to parse and pull through text docs. And you can see this took me some time. So I finally, after about 30 minutes, I get to the point where I'm like, why can't I just use this URL? So I type in, hey, create a Google Sheet script that runs this and outputs the results into a pre-made Google Sheet. And ladies and gentlemen, enter in our first working prototype. This is 100% chat and GBT made. I coded none of this. It just spat it out to me. I saved it. I ran it. It works. It gave me this. Ta-da! Look at that. It gives me all the data in sequential order. It didn't give me like a text doc with a bunch of gobbledygook with a bunch of CSV like delimiters that I then have to go parse out. It outputs this. This was a victory. I could have stopped there. I could have just said, great, that's it. I'm done. I have this going. I wanted it to be able to make a new sheet that has today's date because it was writing it to sheet one. And if I tried to do it again, it would like overwrite the data. And I have I was going in and making these other sheets myself. I said, no, ChatGPT helped me get this far. I'm going to have it help me some more. So I said, take this code, copied and paste the working code and said also add a function that creates a new Google sheet every time it runs and put the new data into that sheet. I had to do this a couple times, but ta-da, we have version two, and it does just that. It will give me a new sheet with today's date with the data in it. But then I said, okay, I want to run multiple iterations of this, not just use Eve Online space A, Eve Online space B. What if I want to use a how to Eve Online space A or near me? You know, we all do the SEO stuff, right? So if you're running a shop, you can do like a certain keyword near me. I just got a tattoo. So like tattoo near me, you could do stuff like that. I want to do the date and the keyword in the sheet name so that I can run this multiple times a day with multiple iterations while still having a log of sorts so I don't have to keep renaming stuff. So I ask ChatGPT to do it and ta-da, it does it. Ladies and gentlemen, if your brain didn't just have like 16 ideas, I don't know what to else to say other than this is the most powerful tool to help me do any work, anytime, anywhere. And like the man Devin Nash said, knowledge is solved. I have nothing else to say except you just got a bunch of ideas. Go execute on them. We'll see you in another video. If you like Eve Online, go sub to that channel. We'll see you next time.